the world's first robotic mannequins. They look like humans, can dance, move their eyelids, measure clothes, and much more. Hang glider pilot, who trained a flock of Canadian geese to fly with him. Professional pianist who challenged a robot musician. How did the battle between man and machine end this time? China has developed a special robotic skin that protects humans from robots. The 25th International High Tech Fair was also held in China. This and other high technology news in one video. The robot developer company Species Corporation has once again reminded the world of its robotic, emotionally expressive figurine. Back in 2017, the company introduced its life-size dancing figure, Kosaka Kokona, claiming it to be the world's first figurine with human-like emotional gestures. Kokona showcases incredibly smooth and graceful movements, thanks to its 37 articulated joints. It can be remotely controlled from a computer or tablet using Mikumiku Dance software, allowing users to define and program its movements. Kokona Kosaka stands at a height of 155 centimeters. With its beautiful, flexible movements, such robots add a kinetic dimension to showcased clothing and accessories, which was not possible using static mannequins. The robot can be used to attract customers in stores and for corporate advertising events. The 42 degrees of freedom in Kokona Kosaka allow her to dance, move her eyes and eyelids, and even move her fingers, creating more expressive gestures. For example, her eyes can move up and down, left and right, her eyelids can open and close, and her wrist alone have four degrees of freedom. Her clothing can be easily changed, similar to conventional mannequins. Additionally, since she is attached to a platform, Kokona can be easily transported and set up anywhere. And unlike autonomous robots, she poses no risk of falling and can safely coexist with people. Paraglider pilot Christian Malek has trained a flock of Canadian geese and travels the world with them. The birds consider him the leader of the flock. In the 1990s, French meteorologist Christian Molek noticed that flocks of small barnacle geese struggled to find their migration route from Germany to Lapland in northern Sweden. To help them, in 1995, Christian Molek acquired a two-seater ultralight aircraft to show the birds the safest migration path. Initially, the birds were reluctant to follow him, but soon the ecologist's efforts were successful. In recent years, Christian has invited tourists to join him on his journeys. People from all corners of the world come to Molek and his aviation companions to spend 35 minutes in the air from March to October. Passengers flying with the flock of birds observe breathtaking landscapes of castles, deserts, mountains, bridges, and cities from above. Sometimes the route runs through Edinburgh in Scotland and Venice in Italy. Malek's passengers are people of various professions and backgrounds. Most of them are Europeans, although some have to spend 15 hours on a plane before embarking on a journey with the ecologist. Now 58 years old, Christian Malek strives to convey his deep respect for nature, which inspired his flights. He hopes that the amazing images of his birds in flight will benefit both migrating wild birds and humans. The robot Tio Tronico recently reminded the world of itself by performing at an exhibition in Dubai. Back in 2017, the robot gained fame by engaging in a musical duel with Italian pianist Roberto Perseda in Beijing. Surprisingly, the human-robot competition ended in a draw. After exploring various playing techniques and performing pieces by musical maestros, the robot surpassed the human in precision, dexterity, and duration of play. However, it conceded in terms of continuity and emotional expression. Teotronico has 53 fingers, enabling it to play, compose music, and sing. Two cameras on the robot's head allow it to detect when a person person is in its presence, prompting it to initiate a conversation. Developers from IHMC and Boardwalk Robotics decided to test the speed and power of the new arms of the humanoid robot Nadia by entering the ring with him. Apparently, the robot showed no mercy to the engineers, urging them not to halt its development. By the way, Nadia is one of those projects that is expected to evolve into a humanoid robot equal to us in strength and agility in the future. As we can see from the video, we still have a long way to go before reaching the level of robots from the movie Real Steel. Usually skin for robots is created to give a certain aesthetic, making them indistinguishable from humans and sometimes for functionality. However, in the Laboratory of Artificial Intelligence Robotics at the University of Hong Kong, they gave it a completely different purpose. Engineers developed invisible skin for industrial manipulators that helps them sense the approach of humans and other objects, enabling them to stop in time and avoid causing harm. 
Collision prevention is a complex task that typically requires a large number of sensors on the surface of manipulators and significant computational power. The new invention, integrated into the robot's hand, can cover a large area without the need for multiple sensors. The technology relies on five non-contact bone sensors and specially designed antennas. It can be installed on any manipulator. The major logistics company NFI has acquired Boston Dynamics Stretch Robots for $10 million. Initially, Stretch will be unloading trucks and containers as part of a pilot program at an NFI facility in Savannah, Georgia in 2023, and later they will be deployed at other sites. Stretch operates a full shift without recharging or up to 16 hours with a high-capacity battery. With a powerful vacuum grip and an advanced computer vision system, the robot handles various types of packages weighing up to 22.5 kilograms, requiring no pre-programming or information about box sizes. It can autonomously extract any packages that shift or fall during unloading. Interestingly, Stretch was sold out for installations in 2022. Boston Dynamics has secured several initial customers for the robot, including DHL and H&M. The company noted that they chose the Boston Dynamics robot because it is fast, flexible, and can be adapted for various tasks in the future. The Dragon is the strangest drone you have ever seen. We have already shown you various drones with arms, but turning the drone itself into a manipulator is the wildest solution. It consists of four pairs of suspended fans, each connected by a two-axis hinge, making it incredibly flexible in flight. It literally has more degrees of freedom than you can use in practical applications, not because of a lack of imagination, but because it's quite challenging to make such a structure perform something useful stably and reliably. Dragon can transform itself to navigate through small spaces or manipulate objects. It weighs over 7.5 kilograms and can lift almost 3.5 kilograms, with the rotation of the fans achieved not by a drive, but by the thrust of the propeller. However, this marvel can only fly for three minutes, so the creators plan to teach it to walk on the ground to conserve energy. The company Ubionic is working on a system that will allow medical experts and nurses to conduct treatment remotely, effectively reducing the prevalence of infectious diseases. Thanks to global advancements in artificial intelligence, this device will also operate in surgery and healthcare. The 25th International High Tech Fair took place in Shenzhen, China. Drones and flying cars attracted the most attention this year. One notable exhibit was the large booth of the company Ehang, which a month ago received certification for its passenger drone, the EH-216S. The certification confirms compliance with safety standards and allows commercial operation in China, making it the world's first country where flying taxis are officially permitted and launched. A unique drone developed by graduates of the Chinese Academy of Sciences also received a lot of attention at the exhibition. Its design can be described as a dual flying wing. The multicopter takes off and lands vertically, transitioning to a horizontal mode during flight. This design makes it compact, lightweight, and easy to assemble. Moreover, the drone outperforms many conventional models. It can operate at temperatures up to 40 degrees Celsius, fly at altitudes of up to 5,500 meters, stay airborne for up to 12 hours, and withstand winds of up to 60 kilometers per hour during takeoff. However, the highlight of the exhibition was x -Bing's flying car. This luxurious, futuristic supercar can navigate roads and then unfold its wings to take you into the air. Introduced in 2021, the concept initially faced skepticism, but the company began flight testing a prototype last year. The latest model appears almost or entirely ready for production, turning dreams into reality, at least in China. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you soon.